too fast. I, I mean, it's not that bad. I might be going a little too quick, I'm not sure. Just a little bit. I, I had it slower. I don't remember which one it is. It's either 22 or 44. 22 it is. I don't... There we go. I personally think it should be. Fucking finally. <laughs> you beat it? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 757 attempts. Some of those are old because I did do an old practice run of this from I don't know how long ago. This wasn't too bad. I was expecting this to be a lot worse because when I did the practice run forever ago, I was less good at the game, so it was way harder for me to figure out what the fuck to do. But it's really not terrible. The parts I had particularly bad issues with were the transition out of Fonter's part into the next part was annoying because that green orb is difficult as it is, um, but to get that green orb to be consistent, or like to, to get that green orb to not be like a tiny, tiny window, I had to click pretty late in the UFO portal um, for the last click of Fonter's part to get low enough in that I had a lot of time to hit the green orb and make the jump. So that was kind of annoying. Um, Lake's entire part felt completely RNG. The straight fly transition in it was just kind of annoying because, you know, you're transitioning in obviously on blocks, which is better than the alternative, mind you. But with the blocks there, it was really, really difficult to actually get the pattern to like straight fly up correctly. And then the four wave clicks are just, I mean, they're really cool in theory, and when you do them right, it's like, wow, that felt really fun. But when you do them wrong, it's like, why? Like, what did I do differently? You know what I mean? There's no good indicator for any of it. The way you transition into the portals is completely random. In practice mode, there were times where I would completely miss the jump pads in a cube portal because I went too high or too low or whatever. It really wasn't great. Uh, the black orbs in Lake's part are also kind of annoying. Though That's just a gameplay mechanic I don't love, though. It's like having to immediately hit a black orb after you, like, move off of a platform. Like, that kind of timing is just really, really annoying, especially upside down because you have the extra like coyote time on upside down blocks that you don't have on right side up blocks and if you didn't know that try it in the editor you can actually click off of a block to jump off of a block as any of the you know block jumping off in game modes robot spider cube ball any of those you actually have more time to click off of the block upside down than you do right side up it's bizarre uh what other parts were kind of annoying the whole rest of the level was pretty much fine. The There were just like parts that were like weird or like why, right? Like the, the mini wave right after 52%, like right at the start of whoever's part that is, I, I can't remember the name, right at the start of that part, that mini wave was just like kind of weird and awkward. And the, in the custom portals, I mean custom portals, I hate custom portals as is, but the custom portals in that part were a particularly bad offender because you can't see where you are as the cube nor the wave because there's a big block of custom portal right there on top of the player, just like, that felt kind of awkward and unnecessary. There was a decent enough audio cue that I just kind of ran with and it worked for me, but I could see someone having a huge issue with that part. Um... The UFO spam in that part was kind of awkward too. I don't know. The whole that whole part was awkward. The whole next part was awkward. Like a lot of these, it's like these parts feel really janky and annoying and weird and awkward. But I found a strategy for them that really wasn't too bad. So I can't overly complain because it was like I never died there. You know what I mean? Like it was never really an issue. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I didn't like. Yeah, I mean, the rest of the level's fine, really. Uh, Grebe's part was kind of annoying, actually. The ball, the mini ball at the end was really kind of annoying, because 
if you hit the black orb too early you just miss the platform which was just like awkward like just put an invis block there and it seems so much more convenient because it's already at like a tricky timing as it is right especially for the end of a level um and then the click down through the like angled spikes um was also kind of tricky i never died there from zero but in practice that was pretty much a coin toss uh, and then the last ship is, I mean, I choked it twice, but it was just skill issue. I mean, truly just skill issue. The last ship's not bad. It's really not. Um, but yeah, I, I would, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but if you're looking for, if you're looking specifically for an IDL level in this range, I'd say this is a decent candidate. If you're looking for any level ever, I wouldn't recommend this. All right, I'm going to cut the recording here now. Bye.